There are days when the dreariness of life acts as a best friend. Perhaps it is the frequency at which it occurs that makes it such a friend. It becomes familiar. And what can become familiar can be said to be reliable. And what is reliable is something that can be built upon. But what can be built upon dreariness? Those who suffer from chronic depression couldn't enjoy the sunrise if it were there in the sky for them to see. But if the sky itself is chronically depressed on a day like today, the observer of its dreary existence might be, in this instance, the sunrise that the sky is unable to appreciate. The roles are reversed. We used to look to the sky, awaiting messengers from above. Now we look into ourselves, awaiting messages from within. What we build upon dreariness is the long suffering of our awaiting. Even in an age where messages fly faster than ever before, many of us remain in waiting. Because no matter how fast the messages fly, if they are never sent in the first place, they will never be received.